Good morning, everybody. It's Shaniqua here, and I'm about to jump into some cards for some collective weekly guidance. I am using the uh, Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Sterl, and I have already shuffled and cut, so we are just going to jump in and see what themes we're working with this week. So the overall theme or energy of the week is Five of Wands, not the happiest. Um, the challenge or opportunity being presented is in the Nine of Wands. The lesson is in the world. We're being guided to increase, oh wow, 10 of wands. So lots of wands and fire energy here so far. Um, we are decreasing the hanged man and releasing, oh wow, the tower. Our context card is the eight of pentacles. And the deeper lesson offered, wow, again, more wands, eight of wands. So we have four cards from the wand suit. We've got two major, I'm sorry, three major arcana um, and two eights. So that's really interesting. Let's go through card by card and see what messages come through. So the fact that we've got so many... Um, wands cards here and the tower is also a card of fire this week is really really asking us to look at where we are putting our inner our energy um and i'm thinking that definitely is going to have to do with um work or uh some sort of like hobby project that is requiring a lot of um focus and like iterative tasks um because there's some aspect of it that needs to be dropped. There's something that is over and done with and we're being guided to move on from that. Um, Five of Wands is about having your perspectives challenged and um, it can oftentimes come through as a very aggressive energy. And so this week it's likely that many of us are gonna experience um, competition in like a very literal sense where there's um, maybe something being offered to us, maybe um, a promotion or some sort of um, position of uh, an elevated status that others around us are vying for or, you know, want to get instead of us, instead of you. Um, so just be very aware of like how people are coming at you with regard to their own desires, um, especially if they, if, if there's any reason why they might feel like you are um, impinging on those desires or impeding them from getting them, definitely, definitely be aware of like how people are speaking to you. Um, be aware of where they are where your energy is directed after interacting with other people. Um, Cause the challenge is in the nine of wands and that's the card of like, don't give up, you're almost there, keep going. You've learned quite a bit and I know you're tired and you're drained and you just want to be able to put these wands down. Um, but the fight isn't quite over yet. Like if you look at how this character is actually depicted, she's got a bandage on her head, her fists are um, bandaged up and like she, she looks like she's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, and that's our challenge of the week is just like deciding if we're gonna stand our ground or not, if we're gonna continue this fight because the lesson is in the world and that's a card of like i've been on this level i've completed the goals i've you know collected all the xp and now it's time for me to go to the next thing like if you're playing a game and you meet all the requirements to go to the next level you don't go back to the level that you left like once you've evolved there's no regression in video games and that's kind of a message that the world sends is just like you're not going to devolve you're not going to go back into this space of like feeling like you constantly have to fight to 
just stand your ground and be where you are because this week th something is going to highlight the fact that like we can let this go we can move on we can level up because we're we've completed the requirements to do so and then there's the, an increase in the ten of wands um, this is the card of responsibilities um, sometimes of hardship of a burden or being weighed down but the thing with the ten of wands is it's unsustainable energy whenever you pull the ten of wands there's something that you're doing too much of that you need help with that you need to delegate but even if you are um, like just handling all of your business like the boss that you are if you pull ten the, the, the ten of wands it's an indication that you're not going to be able to keep going the way that you have been um, so this is an invitation to look at where you can start taking it a little bit easier where you can um, let other people handle things where you can just stop and just say no um, because you're, you're just not going to be able to keep going like this this energy is not sustainable you will burn out okay this is a 10 of fire this is completion this is the end of a cycle and this energy needs a reset so we're being asked to really give ourselves permission to slow down and relax a little bit and not have so much on our plate because if you keep going 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 fighting 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 defending 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 then you're not gonna actually integrate those lessons and meet those goals and do the leveling up that this week is trying to teach us how to do so then we're asked to decrease the hanged one and this is a card of patience and waiting and sacrifice and release and so i feel like if there's been something that you've been telling yourself this narrative about um fighting it out of pushing through of persevering of just keep keep going this card is saying it's time to cut that out like it's it's time to let that go there's no more you know just waiting for the next round there's no more resigning yourself to this um friction it's time to just let all of that go and we're releasing this fear of change because the tower represents very sudden um unforeseen drastic sort of like foundation shaking change and this fell in the position of what we are releasing and so if there's something that you're holding on to like a structure that you cannot see yourself without cannot imagine your life without this routine this structure these people this habit this job whatever it is um we're being asked to release the fear of losing that thing because we're with the world here um it's really it's time to let it go i just feel like especially with this nine of wands and everything i feel like for many of us it's like there's just been so much um it's like you've been conditioned to be in a fighting state all the time and so because of that just the fact that like you're used to having to fight to like prove that you're worthy to prove that you're capable to just maintain what you have um it's like you don't really know of any other way you don't know how to um loosen the grip and imagine and see the possibilities that could come into your life without that tension um and so like we're we're really the cards are just saying like you don't have to be feeling attacked and stressed as a means of assess not assessing but as um as a way to point to success because i think that's a societal narrative that like oh you know it's a dog eat dog world and you know um, winner takes all and that type of mentality and um what i'm seeing in the cards now is just like it's time to let that go because it's not 
fostering a healthy relationship with the idea of success. It's not helping us to have a healthy definition of what it takes to be successful. Contextually speaking, and this is why I said that this um, message may be largely related to career or work or some sort of passion project that many in the collective are um, working on right now is because of this Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles represents working on something repeatedly, um, routinely, consistently that brings you joy. The work of it is satisfying or fulfilling to you. Um, and it's not even so much the outcome. Like if you look at this picture here, she's um, working at her, her design table and she's drawing on like a Cintiq um, or a digital drawing tablet. And so here, people might think that the what brings this artist pleasure is the finished piece of art, but what's bringing her pleasure is in the actual work of making it. Yeah, that outcome is great, but it's more so about um, pleasure derived from the doing of a thing. And so because so many of the cards in the main spread um, indicate fighting, persevering, over extending of the energies and things like that, um, we're really being guided to ask ourselves, what brings me pleasure in the doing of it rather than the achieving of it? Um, and then ultimately we're being guided to move in that direction. The Eight of Wands is a card of um, directed energy. A lot of times, excuse me, um, people associate this with speed, which is why um, on the bottom here we've got this cute uh, little motorcycle girl. Um, so it's it can be very fast, like launching kind of energy, um, but it's very much about just like having a direction. So she's not on this motorcycle because she's out for a stroll. She's on this motorcycle because she's trying to get from point A to point B. There's a destination in mind. There's somewhere she's already decided to go. And now all of that energy and that fuel is being used to get there. Um, and so th this week really, I think that there's a need for many of us to reorient to decide um, not to invite strife into our vision of what it means to be accomplished or um, as part of just the day-to-day -day norm. And then once that decision is made to really take tangible steps to redirect our energy towards something that is going to get us to that next level, okay? lots of uh lots of fire energy here like there's there's so much fire this is really a week of um realigning how and where you are using your energy because i just feel like for too many of us it's been a fight it's been a i just i have to i've got to keep going i'm required and so just challenge yourself ask yourself if you find yourself thinking you know, well, of course I've got to have conflict in my job because blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself, how do you know that's true? Just ask yourself that question and see what you come up with. Be patient to actually listen for the answer coming from inside because I promise it'll surprise you. Too often we have stories around what's possible, what's true, what's available, and until we actually challenge those stories, um, we're not even aware that we're operating under their paradigms. So really look at that this week. I hope that helped. I hope that this message resonates. And um, if anybody would like to book a uh, private one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please go to writingwithtarot.com and you can choose from all of the different spreads that I have available. If you have any questions prior to purchasing, definitely use my contact form. I would love to answer any questions that you have. But other than that, I hope that everybody has a really great, very empowering week, and I will see you guys in the next video.